And one thing you'll see is that a lot of medications that we use to treat anxiety can be used to treat neuro neuropathic nerve pain. So it's funny to say, but they literally calms your nerves, right? I mean, what is anxiety? It's a bunch of nervous tissue circuits in your brain just firing off. Um, so people will tell me, well, doc, why am I taking this gabapentin? It says it's for nerve pain. I don't have nerve pain. Doc, why am I taking this medication? It says it's for seizures. I don't have seizures. Seizures, boom, dysregulated neuro, uh, neurological activity, nerve pain, dysregulated neurological activity, anxiety disorders, dysregulated neurological activity. So do not be surprised if one of the medications that your prescriber gives you for your anxiety disorder and you Google it, it says it's used for treating seizures or nerve pain. Correct. And, and many, many medications that are used for psychiatric purposes and neurological purposes make them for benefit for both, right? So we traditionally think of the brain and the mind being two separate things, but we all know, in fact, that that's, that's not the case and, and it is more complicated than that. Yeah. And so, the soul is a philosophical discussion, perhaps for another topic. It is. It, another cer time. it certainly <laughs> is, Dr. Ma. Uh, 